I'm going to show you how to set up and use the InVideo AI voice cloner. So if you want to follow along with me in this step-by-step -step tutorial, and I've left the link in the description below this video to InVideo, so you can use that link to log in and then follow along. So once you first log into your InVideo AI account, you first need to head over to the top left to the hamburger menu here to open the sidebar menu and then select the voices option here. Now I already have a voice clone set up already, but if this is the first time you've done this, then the only thing here you'll see is this box here that says add voice. So click on this and now you have a few instructions on how to submit your voice sample. So the first thing is you need to make sure your sample is at least 30 seconds long. And then within whatever you choose to say in your sample, you also have to say this sentence here. So this just gives InVideo AI the permission to clone your voice. Then they also want you to pause between sentences, just like you normally would. And they want you to use high quality recording equipment. Now they don't specify exactly what high quality recording equipment is in their eyes. So just use whatever you've got. I mean, if you happen to have decent equipment, then great. If you don't, just go with what you got. Then once you've recorded your sample, you can drag it and drop it in here to this box to upload it. Now I've already recorded my sample here, so I'm just gonna drag this in and upload that to InVideo. So this just takes a few seconds. And now InVideo is just gonna ask us to confirm on these few questions. So this is my voice and I have the rights to use it, yes. This voice sample includes the permission to clone, it does. Voice sample includes natural pauses and filler words, yes it does. This was recorded using high quality equipment, yep and then click my sample looks good. And now this will start the process for NVIDIA to process your sample. Now this can take anywhere from a few seconds to a minute or two, depending on how long your sample is. Now NVIDIA AI has confirmed that your sample looks all good and they've confirmed that you've given permission and click on done. Now we can see my sample is uploaded here and ready to use. So first thing to do is click on this little pencil icon and now we can name our sample. So if I name it Steve, or actually my other one's already named Steve. So if I just name it John and click save, now, when I give prompts to the AI, I can say, use John's voice or use Steve's voice. And that's how I can directionalize the AI to choose my cloned voice. So let's test it out and go and create a video. So click create new in the top right. And now here, I can just write my prompt here if I want to, and then just click generate video. And in video AI will then start to create my video based on my prompt. And within this prompt, I could say, use John's voice create a YouTube short and so on. Or down the bottom here, we've got these options to start off with these workflows. So if I choose this one, YouTube shorts, and I'm gonna choose what type of shorts, I'm gonna choose a fast paced short. Now here is where I'm gonna type my prompt. So in my prompt, I've said, create a YouTube short of 30 seconds long on three tips to burn belly fat. Here are the three tips to cover. And then at the end, I've said, include a call to action at the end of the video for the viewer to click a link in the video description to learn more about burning stubborn belly fat. Now here is where I can say what kind of music I want. So I'm gonna put inspirational language. You've actually got over 50 different languages to choose from. Of course, I'm English, so I'm gonna to stick to English. And now here is the voice where you can choose which voice to use. So I'm gonna choose that new voice I've just uploaded, which I named John. So use John's voice for the narrator. Add subtitles, yeah, I'm gonna keep subtitles on. Use iStock B-roll footage as and when needed. And use YouTube audio library only or you can choose to use music from other sources. I'm just gonna stick with the YouTube audio library for now and click on continue. And now here's my prompt and click generate video. And now in video will take a couple of minutes to create this video for me. Oh, actually before it creates the video, it's just asking us a few more questions. So what is our audience? And it gives us three options to choose from, fitness enthusiasts, health seekers, or busy professionals. So I'm gonna say health seekers, uh, look and feel, bright, inspirational, or clean. I'll go with inspirational. Platform is YouTube Shorts. Now this is fairly important because depending on what you select here, will change the overall look and feel of your video. Anyway, click continue. And now in video, we'll start to put our video together. And this part can take usually a couple of minutes. Okay, so that took about two minutes. So let's watch the video, see what it's like and see if it does actually sound like me or not. Want to burn belly fat fast? Here are three tips to help you out. First, eat more protein. It boosts your metabolism and curbs cravings. Second, do cardio. Cardio burns calories and reduces fat. Third, cut sugars and carbs. Lowering insulin levels aids fat loss. Want to learn more? about burning stubborn belly fat, click the link in the description. So that was actually pretty good. I do think it does actually sound like me. I mean, not exactly like me, but it's, it's really close. I'm personally quite impressed with this. Now at this point, you can give the AI more prompts down here. If you want to make some changes, for example, if you want to make the music a little bit quieter, I did think that was a little bit on the louder side, I would have toned that down a bit. 
And also just by writing prompts in here, I can even get the AI to change my voice into a different language. So I can speak in Japanese, but it'll be my voice, for example, or I can switch it out and use one of the AI voices that come with video. And I can also give prompts here to change B-roll footage. However, that is easier to do if you click the edit button here and come into the timeline of the video. Now, if you want to see a more detailed video that shows you everything basically you need to know to get started with NVIDIA AI, it's my step-by-step -step tutorial that shows you how to do all the editing as well. Then you can watch this video that I'm showing on the screen right now. And that'll talk you through everything, as well as showing you examples of different AI voices that come with NVIDIA AI, as well as your own cloned voice in different languages as well. So it's quite a fun video. So if you want to give this a go yourself and test out NVIDIA AI, then you can use the link in the description below this video to get access and test it out. It's really easy to use and it's actually quite fun to work with. And if you got value out of this video, then please do like, share and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot and I really appreciate it. Now, if you do want to see my step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use NVIDIA AI, going through all the features as well as how to edit your videos, then this is the next video you want to watch that's on my channel.